Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about premenstrual breast tenderness. So that's right, we're gonna be talking about boobies today. <laughs> now what is premenstrual breast tenderness and why does it happen? Because I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of rude. We have so many other things going on in our life when we're premenstrual and then, you know, we just have breast tenderness added onto that. So breast tenderness is called cyclical nostalgia. And that is when your boobs get swollen, they get tender, they might be a little bit painful, your nipples might even feel really sensitive. Now, if you feel that your breasts change and they feel really like ropey and lumpy during your premenstrual phase, that is actually what is called fibrocystic breasts. And that is something that is caused by hormone fluctuations, just like cyclical nostalgia is. Breast tenderness um, and a little bit of like heaviness, that's something that most menstruators will deal with at one time or another during their menstruating years. Thankfully, cyclical nostalgia does go away when we get our periods, so it shouldn't affect us all month long. It should only affect us when we are in our premenstrual phase. And although it is common, there's actually a lot of things you can do to help prevent it. Now, if you are experiencing pain or tenderness outside of your premenstrual phase and your breasts hurt like all the time or they always feel tender, I definitely suggest you talk to a healthcare provider just to rule out any other serious conditions because obviously it can be really frightening when your boobs start to hurt and you might feel that they're like lumpy or something like that. So it's always good to get it checked out and to make sure that there's nothing else going on. So the biggest thing that you can do when you are experiencing breast tenderness is to have a supportive bra. Now our breasts actually swell up to one cup size bigger in the premenstrual phase which I think is um, you know kind of rude <laughs> because then they obviously feel a little bit heavier and it's just kind of uncomfortable so having a really good supportive bra can really make a big difference now when I say supportive I don't mean underwire underwire can cut into you and be quite uncomfortable of course if you have bigger breasts I totally understand that it's really hard to find a comfortable non-wire bra but trying to find something that fits you around the time when your boobs are maybe a little bit bigger but also isn't going to be like digging into you or anything like that is really really important and one of the big reasons why we do experience some breast swelling is because our hormones when they fluctuate especially in our premenstrual phase they can predispose us to having some water retention and a little bit of bloating now that can also show up in your breasts so a really important thing that I'm sure you guys all know to do but if you're experiencing bloating or water retention don't dehydrate yourself <laughs> drink a lot of water hydrate yourself it's so important another thing you can do is drink herbal teas so dandelion root is really great because it is a very mild diuretic red raspberry tea is another tea that you can drink it's so great to have that before your period and then there is always nettle tea which is super nourishing and these teas are all great because they are herbal and so they don't have any caffeine because caffeine is one one of the things that can potentially be a cause for tender breasts and I know a lot of people who decrease their caffeine intake or get rid of caffeine in their diet altogether and it really really helps with breast tenderness and some people even find that it's the only thing they have to change to get rid of their premenstrual breast tenderness so that's really amazing so if you drink a lot of coffee or you have a lot of like caffeinated teas or caffeine in your diet then maybe look at switching to something that's more herbal just to see how it goes you know try it for a few cycles see if it helps and it might you just never know another thing that can be really helpful for breast tenderness in your premenstrual phase is chaste tree berry otherwise known as vitex another thing that can be really helpful which actually really really helped me with my breast tenderness is iodine so increasing your iodine intake or looking at an iodine supplement can be so incredibly helpful iodine is actually really needed <laughs> for your breasts because there's a lot of estrogen receptors in your breasts and iodine helps to downregulate estrogen in these receptors. And so if you're experiencing breast tenderness, it could potentially be from excess estrogen. And so iodine can help with that. And so I have found that to be like the best remedy. I started to supplement iodine because I'm not a huge fan of seaweed and when you're plant-based seaweed is probably the biggest form of iodine in the diet. There are other foods that have iodine but seaweed is like the highest source and I 
I'm not a fan of seaweed, so I looked into supplementation and within about a month I noticed a complete difference and I don't have breast tenderness anymore um, after now a few years of making sure that I increase my iodine intake. So that is just amazing and I think that's a really great thing for you guys to look into if you're struggling with breast tenderness. Of course, iodine taken into large amounts can actually harm your thyroid. So iodine is again one of the supplements you need to be careful with and you need to talk to a healthcare provider about before you start supplementing it. Um, you just don't want to go overboard. That's not safe. <laughs> and I'm not able to give like dosaging recommendations in my videos, but what I am able to do is give you guys some ideas and some recommendations that you can then go and research yourself and talk to the appropriate healthcare professional to get some actual dosaging recommendations. So other supplements that can actually be really helpful for breast tenderness would be vitamin E, primrose oil, Oil, magnesium, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is so good for menstrual health. I'm just putting it out there. As well as increasing omega-3s. Those, those things are all really good. And a great way to increase your omega-3s is to actually include flaxseed in your diet. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of ground flaxseed. Ground flaxseed is not only great because it is high in omega-3s, but it's actually a huge source of lignans, which are amazing for menstrual health. Lignans help to metabolize estrogen in your body. So if you're not enjoying flaxseed every day, I definitely recommend that. It's a great whole food option that you can add to your daily diet to just see if that helps with your breast tenderness. So definitely include flaxseed if you're looking for a little nutrient boost in your diet, but you're also looking to help with PMS symptoms. And there are, of course, a lot of other foods that can help you with your hormones. Cruciferous vegetables are your best friend when it comes to hormone health. Cruciferous vegetables are so good for you. They're high in fiber, they help support normal estrogen metabolism, and they just keep you full and they're just so nourishing. So cruciferous vegetables include cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, all those good things. So I always, always suggest including those in your daily diet as well because those are so good for your hormones. They're just so good for your overall health as well. And of course, I don't think I could end this video without saying that exercise is very important. It's so important to get your blood moving, get your heart pumping. It can help with like water retention because it gets all the fluids moving. It can also help make you sweat, but you don't have to go crazy. Like doing yoga or going for a walk still gets it's everything moving. So exercise is so important. And if you're really having a hard time with breast tenderness, you could always do some warm and cool compresses. That could also be helpful as well as some self massage, which I know might not sound like the most appealing when your boobs are really tender, but just giving your body a little bit of love can make a big difference as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a little bit more of an insight on why breast tenderness happens and some tips and tricks to include in your daily routine that might be able to help you kind of cope with it a little bit better and maybe help you decrease some of the symptoms that you're having. As always, your cycle matters so much and I'm here for you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!